I haven't done a video for a long time that is present day and of this moment. A lot of the videos that I've been uploading, I actually recorded last year and then um, early 2020. Maybe if you follow me on Instagram, you're wondering why the videos look a little bit outdated because they're not necessarily matching the way I look in um, you know, the present day. You'll notice my hair is different and I'm in a different house and that's because I moved and a lot has changed in the last, I don't know, almost year. And a lot has changed even before that in my life. So it's been a year and a half of lots of, lots and lots and lots of changes around here. So now with all of this downtime of COVID, I've been able to get back into the editing room and go over a lot of the stuff that I shot last year that because of life being as busy as it was before COVID-19, um, I didn't really get a chance to do. Wow, this incense is like really, whoo, just uh, all over my shit. Okay, it's like really just wanting to be here. Maybe if I go like here. Today I'm gonna be recording myself shooting a self-portrait um, and show you guys kind of how I do it, I guess. This is for a quarantine photo challenge that I started through my group, Melbourne Photo Gals, that I started back in 2016. And it's still running, so we've got a Facebook and an Instagram, and you can find it in the description of the video. And there, I post challenges weekly ever since this whole thing started happening because we can't get together anymore in person, and that's the point of the group, is actually like to get together on a somewhat, you know, monthly or quarterly basis and go on photo adventures and explore surrounding areas but we can't really do that nowadays. So I started a photo challenge for the girls to do and that you can join. Feel free to follow Melbourne Photo Gals on Instagram and participate in the challenges. Even if you live across the world, it doesn't actually matter, but I will only feature photos taken by women. Without further ado, I will take you through my self-portrait journey. sure where I'm gonna shoot this thing because uh, I don't know sometimes you're feeling it sometimes you're not and right now I'm not like a hundred percent oh I've got a... there's a hair there okay okay Is that right I'm fresher than a motherfucker god damn it Okay, I lost the Sasha hair somewhere in there. I don't know where the hell I'm gonna actually shoot the self-portrait or what the hell I'm actually gonna do. Some days it's just like that, you know what the fuck you're doing. So I think I'm gonna make myself some food and then maybe my brain will be working a little bit more. Let me just, there we go. I've sort of made up my mind, I think. I love this area of my house this is my like the living room is my absolute favorite and it makes me feel happy so i love that too and i'm gonna i'm gonna make a self-portrait of the things surrounded by the things that i love and including the things that i love so i'm probably gonna put some plants in the foreground and um i'll probably shoot a close-up so like mostly my mug and i reckon all the colors of the cushions are gonna look really cool out of focus and I'll probably put myself in the shade and the harsh light behind me. I'll see how that, yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna, ooh, leave it all the way down here. Okay, I'm going to, such a tune, such a jam. I'm gonna change my lenses. Hold on, I'm gonna turn that down. I think it's probably overpowering. I'm gonna change lenses. I currently have my 50 on my film camera and my 24 to 70 on my Canon DSLR. And I'm just gonna quickly do a swapsies. Quickly, quickly, there we go. Because this lens happens to go down to, I think a 1.8 and I wanna go very, very shallow with my depth of field. So, this is gonna be it. 
Um, I'm currently trying to choose my white balance. And it's all looking a bit yellow. Okay, well I just went for sunlight even though it's in the shade, but the shade one was looking a bit too yellow. Ooh, you can see like, ah, oh, okay, yeah, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing and I'll show you. That is more or less what I'm looking at. I think I'm gonna place myself like maybe around here. I just really like this, what's happening. It's very warm and it's, it just makes me happy. And maybe I'll put like a plant somewhere in the foreground here and my face will be like here, I'm not sure. So that's kind of what, focus, kind of what I'm seeing. I don't know if I like it yet. I think I need more light, but I do like this. And I think what I'm gonna do actually is maybe do a self-portrait with um, motion blur. I think that might be the go. I'm actually not liking the background. I think for the kind of shot that I'm going for, the background's actually not gonna work. Bim, baby, get me. I'm going to introduce a prism into the equation. Woohoo! That's what a prism does. Pretty cool. So that's what I'm going to introduce into the photograph and then I'll update you on how it's going. I fucking love this song. Okay. I'm going to show you like the progress of, I'm like out of breath from pop blocking and dropping it. Hold on, actually. Okay, so that's where we're at now, which I'm loving. That's where we were before. Not bad. This was before. Hold on. Just gonna actually pause it so you guys can actually hear me. Okay. Ooh. Right. So that was before. Good intentions, but it just was not really happening. Kind of like that one, but nah. It's just too busy, and because it's about my face. Um, it's too distracting with all those elements in the background. So I was like, all right, not really working. Moving on to a clear backdrop since it's just about the mug. And I am loving that. That's the prism there. And I put it right up close to the lens so that um, it creates an effect. So prisms only really work well if you're shooting with a longer lens and you put it right up to the lens. And then that's more failed attempts. Woo. <laughs> anyway, we're getting there with that. So y'all can see the setup is very simple and look at sushi. Look at my little fur baby. She's so cute. She's so cute. Look at this. Self-portrait with nothing but just a camera on a tripod. A white wall, some makeup, and a prism. This is a prism. Back to, wow, that's a great shot. Back to the music. There we go. Got the focus. Ooh, that. Sometimes the prism, stop moving. Sometimes the prism is very, very tricky to work with. You gotta try over and over and over again. Ooh, I like it, I like it, I like it.
I am loving what is happening. Oh, I love it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, whoa, he. Okay, there comes a time in everyone's self-portrait life where you get the one you get the fucking photo. And you know it when it happens because you feel it right here. And you go, that's the fucking one. So it took me approximately like 30 minutes or maybe 45 minutes max to get the shot, but it was well fucking worth it. I'm like out of breath because I don't know, these things like are tiring. Um, even though I was like just standing in one place, but it's like, You'll be surprised if you ever try your own self-portraits, like their work. So I'm gonna just take it back. So I know it's a bit annoying because it's not the right way, but fuck it. If I can just get this to focus, that'd be better. Okay, so this was sort of the journey. Okay, that was the start. And then we moved on to just the white wall. I love that one still. Oh my God, I love it. There's just, I love it. Okay. Then there's, I'm liking that. Then there's some movement ones that are cool. See, like I could have stopped there, right? But I didn't because you know, when you're taking photos, you can dig deeper and there's always room for more and like sometimes you can go, yeah, I got it. But you don't have that feeling of like, oh my fucking God, I got it, yes. And like when you walk away from a self-portrait shoot going, yeah, I got it, that's fair enough. I don't really like to walk away from self-portrait shoots like that though. I like to keep going until I go, oh my fucking God, that's the one. So here, we're getting a little bit closer. I like that. There's some cool ones there. So sometimes I really like photos with the mouth kind of open. And sometimes they're a bit of a miss, but oh, I like that one. For these, I started to move my head around less and more the prism. Well, the, there I'm still moving it quite a bit. I'm still moving it quite a bit. I like that one. This one, I started to move the prism around more with the slow shutter instead of my face. I like that. Oh, I like that. And then after I started moving the prism around, I fucking love that. I really started to like what I got. Love that. Love that. See, so it's just like, you just experiment and experiment and experiment, fucking love that one, until you kind of get the one that you go, oh, and it takes your breath away, and that one was it. So I'm really, really happy with that one. I love the way that the light played within the prism, and I like my expression, and I just like everything about it. I'm very happy with that photo and now I'm excited to color correct it and go through all of them I think usually from self-portrait shoots I like to pick anywhere from like three to five top favorites and then um, I edit them sometimes a little bit differently But usually what I do is that I make a set so either a set of three or a set of five usually three and um, Or sometimes I'm like I love all of these and I'm, I don't know I'm gonna make 10 <laughs> edit 10 of them or something in case anybody is wondering what my settings were for that photo I had it at 0.5 seconds and my f-stop was at 10 and my ISO was at 100 with my white balance set to daylight. So those were my settings for the photograph. And anyway, I think I will get going now and get stuck into editing these photos, which I'm very excited about. Woo!
Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something and ask me any questions in the comments if you want to know more. And also if you want to check out the photos on my Instagram, feel free to look in the information of this video and find the link so that you can go give me a follow or just check out the photos, whatever you want to do, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. Until the next time.